Welcome to the second video in the Till Basics tutorial series. In the previous video, we learned how to open the Minfos Till and add retail items and prescriptions to a sale. This video will demonstrate how to finalise a sale and process payments. The current sale on the Till window shows items that have already been added to the sale. Now the customer would like to make payment. The steps to process a payment depend on what tender type the customer would like to pay with. Let's go through the common tender types accepted in Minfos. To process a cash payment, click Cash on the right hand side of the screen. In the Cash Tendered window, you can enter the amount tendered using on-screen buttons or your keyboard, click the exact amount button, or use the dollar values on the left hand side of the screen. Clicking multiple dollar values will increase the tendered amount. Then click enter to complete the sale. The change window will display and the till drawer will open for you to insert the cash and retrieve any change if required. The Minfos till can be configured to prompt the sales clerk before automatically printing a receipt. To learn more about this option, please visit the Minfos Help Centre. In this video, we will print a receipt for each transaction. If you need a second copy of the receipt, use the Reprint Docket button. Click OK to return to the new sale window. Now let's process a sale using FPOS payment. Enter your clerk code and ring up the items to be sold. In this case, we are ringing up some scripts for payment. Click the FPOS button on the right hand side of the screen and the FPOS window will be displayed. For FPOS and card payments, the workflow is different depending on whether your store has integrated FPOS. If your store does have integrated FPOS and the customer does not require cash out, leave the extra cash field blank and click enter. If the customer does require cash out, enter the amount of extra cash and then press enter. Follow the on-screen prompts that will appear and click OK when the transaction is approved. The change window will then be displayed, a receipt will print and the till drawer will open if any cash out is required. Retrieve the cash out amount and provide it to the customer. If, like me, your store does not have integrated FPOS, enter the cash out amount, if any, in the cash out field and then process the total payment amount in your FPOS machine before processing it in Minfos. Once approved on the FPOS terminal, click enter on the Minfos screen and the change window will be displayed. Again, a receipt will print and the till drawer will open. Retrieve the cash out amount and provide it to the customer along with the receipt. Click OK to return to the new sale screen. Processing a sale using card payment and no cash out is very similar. Enter your clerk code, press enter, and then ring up the items to be sold at the till. Click credit on the right hand side of the till window. And select the corresponding credit card from the menu. If your store has integrated FPOS, click enter, Follow the on-screen prompts and click OK when the transaction is approved. A receipt will print and the till drawer will open. If, like me, your store does not have integrated FPOS, process the payment on your FPOS machine before processing it in Minfos. Once approved on the FPOS terminal, click Enter. A receipt will print. Click OK to return to the new sale window. Minfos allows customers to pay with mixed tender at the till. For example, a customer may pay with cash and FPOS or credit card or multiple cards. Let's look at these one by one. To process a sale using cash and FPOS or cash and credit card, ring up the items and then click on the cash button. Enter in the tendered cash amount 
and then click Enter. The end sale menu is displayed with the updated balance showing. Select FPROS from the list and then click OK. Select the card type and enter the amount paying. If your store has integrated FPOS, click Enter, follow the prompts and then process the sale as normal. If your store does not have integrated FPOS, like myself, process the payment on your FPOS machine before processing it in MinFOS. Once approved on the FPOS terminal, click Enter and process as normal. To process a sale where the customer is making payment using multiple cards, enter in your clerk code and ring up the items for sale as normal. Click Credit on the right hand side of the screen and select the card type for the first part of the payment the customer would like to make. In the Amount Paying field, enter the amount that the customer would like to pay on this card. If your store has integrated FBOS, follow the on-screen prompts and then click OK or Enter when the transaction is approved. The End Sale menu will show the updated balance. Select Credit Cards again. Click OK. Select the next card type the customer would like to pay with and enter the amount paying. Follow the on-screen prompts and repeat these steps until the balance is paid. Click OK when the transaction is approved. If your store does not have integrated FPOS, process the payments on your FPOS machine before processing it in MinFOS. Once approved on the FPOS terminal, hit Enter as normal. Regular visitors to your pharmacy may have a customer account that they wish to charge their sales to. Having an account is convenient to many frequent shoppers and it is also a great way to encourage customer loyalty. To charge a sale to a customer account, enter your clerk code followed by enter and ring up the items for sale. Click account on the right hand side of the screen. In the search window, select the customer and press enter. The customer account window is displayed with the details listed. Press enter to charge the sale to the customer's account. Two copies of the receipt will print. Ensure the first receipt is signed by the customer and retained as a record. Supply the customer with the second receipt. The final tender type we will cover in this tutorial is a cheque payment. Not all pharmacies accept cheques as payment. Your manager or owner will be able to let you know your pharmacy's policy for cheque payments. To process a cheque payment, enter your clerk code, followed by enter. Ring up the items for sale and select cheque on the right hand side of the screen. Click enter. To confirm the payment amount, a receipt will print and the drawer will open so that you can insert the cheque. If you need a second copy of the receipt after any payment type has been processed, click the Reprint Docket button. This video tutorial has demonstrated how to process common payment types at the till. We hope you have found this helpful. Watch the next video in this series to learn about additional functions such as price check and holding a sale.